Everyone, it's James and Seth from the Fit RV, and we're here with Mike Neundorfer at Advanced RV. How you doing, Mike? Great, James. Good to see you. Thanks yes. for having us. Yeah. It's great to be back. It's been years since we've been here, and when we knew we were coming, we sent an email to Mike, and we said, "Hey, what's new at Advanced RV?" Yeah, and apparently they've been really busy because we got back a list of like 50 some odd items that are new. So. Where do you get so many, how do you do so much new in such a short amount of time? What's the deal? Well, every motorhome we build is commissioned by a client, and those clients all have ideas and objectives, and we get them together with our craftspeople, and they come up with new things. And the good new things, which most of them are good, uh, become incorporated in the next of the motorhomes. Nice. So that combined with the fact that technology is changing, and that's driving new innovation from the inside, sure. created a long list. Yeah. Well, we can't show all 50 some odd items in this video, but we're going to pick a few that are the most interesting to us and uh, have you show us around. You ready? We're ready. I'm ready. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. Okay, so first off, we are here in a working RV production facility, so you may get some noise, but one of the things I caught my eye on your list was your camera and security system. And I've been driving around in one of these advanced RVs that's got the four cameras on it. It stitches together a plan view. It's the trippiest, coolest thing to drive around with. This is part of that? Yes. Okay, but it does more than that, I guess. It does. It has a motion sensor and it's a light. And it's all mounted. Uh, we. 3D printed these, uh, probably five iterations. In fact, we've done a little design modification today to make a little more of a hood over it so it's not so bright to the eyes. But uh, it's, uh, uh, my goal with this was to get rid of the big coach light on the mm -hmm. side and also accommodate the camera, which used to be a, used to protrude out and right. be in another mounting. So it's just part of the stealth look and uh, make it a little cleaner. A little less air resistance. <laughs> <laughs> You've improved your CD by 0 .006. Yeah. All right, so one of the first things that caught my eye in that email that you sent us is that you've started ducting the air conditioning. That is awesome. Thank you. And it's running right now, and it sounds so quiet. It is. It's much quieter. We did measure the decibel rating uh, before and after, and with, with the standard air conditioning coming through the ceiling and with ducted, I don't remember the numbers, but it's, uh -huh. it's, you, as you can see, it's yeah. on now and it's much quieter. Yeah, I can hardly even tell that it's on. And this is a big deal for us because we sleep really close to our air conditioner and this would be such a heavenly thing to have in our rig. So what, and what about space? What about height? It seems like there's a lot of height here still. I'm impressed with that. Well, there is. And the thing that enabled us to do this is mm -hmm. the uh, Mercedes came out with a super high top. Yes. And as anybody that's followed it, they came out with it, they discontinued it. They came out with it, they discontinued it. Now it's, it's available all the time. So it's only about two inches higher than the standard uh, Sprinter mm -hmm. high top. Uh, but it, it, uh, because of the way it's configured, it gives us the ability to make an 80 inch high ceiling oh, wow. and still have ducted air above it. That's, so it's, it's awesome. And how tall are you? About 6'3". Six, 6'3", three. Six, three. and you still have room in here. That's About uh, three or four inches. Wow. Think, yeah. All right, tall people everywhere. Pay attention. <laughs> well, a number of the things on your list were, were had to do with lighting, especially in the bathroom. So what have you done here? Well, we've put three different lighting systems or lighting controls in the bathroom, and we've been able to multiplex them. But uh, uh, so let's say I wanted to shave. Let's how, how would shaving lighting look? Well, that would be the bright light, and that would be pretty much what what you're looking at right now. Okay. Let's Those say I wanted a, a nice romantic shower. Somehow, Steph and I both. Whoa, nice. Okay. And then let's say it's uh, have a nighttime. I don't want to. I don't want to blind myself. Go to the bath. You got to. It's red. Right. Right. Just. Uh, so you won't you won't uh, shrink your pupils like up. Like on the old airplane controls, it's a red light, so that yeah. Right on. Um, okay, and then other stuff you've done in the bathroom. This sink doesn't really protrude past the wall. Right. That's uh, I mean it's just it's barely big enough to wash your hands, but you can do it, and it doesn't take up any more room than it than it needs to. Was that a customer request or? Well, this there have been probably three or four iterations of this uh, arrangement. One is without a sink, so it starts from down here and it's recessed all the way back. Uh, the shower we've modified so that it's available but recessed, and the lighting switch is up here. This is all uh, fabricated aluminum. We make this in in our house and uh, powder coated. Uh, but the big thing is the sink used to be oval mm -hmm. and come around here mm -hmm. so that the plumbing could, could come out and it, it, um, 
uh, interfered. Yeah, it took up space. So we made this flatter. Marsha wants a sink in the bathroom. Some people are Don't. fine washing in the in the kitchen sink. So the other the other feature that you're doing in the bathroom now that's probably my favorite and one of those why doesn't everybody do this is you've split the door to the bathroom so that you actually have a little more room to like spread out when you're showering but it keeps the curtain from flopping out into the aisle right and this was a client uh, request uh, that she wanted some more room but she didn't want to interfere with the wide aisle uh, it's nice to be able to cross paths in the in the aisle right and so we designed a uh, system that comes out, clips up, the curtain is, is uh, Will be held out so around it, that. It's held out here, it has pleats in it actually. So now your shower is uh, about three or four inches wider than it would be, plus you, you don't spill, uh, spill water, water outside. into the aisle. And you can talk to the person in the shower easier. <laughs> Which okay. some people like and some people don't. <laughs> you don't okay. have to talk to each other. And then the other thing that we've done is that this uh, will hang two towels to dry inside at that position and then it goes clear out of the way. So nice. uh, it's, uh, it, it, these things happen in small increments with improved designs. The first one of these actually was perpendicular, but then you have two shot towels, they don't Hang dry as top. well. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, all little improvements. Nice, all right. All right, so one of the things I love that I saw on your list is all the security upgrades that you're doing on these fans. So can you tell us some of the security stuff you got going on? Sure. Uh, one of the things we do is we have a, a security system that's part of the locking system, uh -huh. and it continually uh, changes codes. So there are hundreds of thousands of possible codes, so you can't be hacked and oh. have somebody open your door electronically. Nice. The second thing we do is we put a deadbolt system on all of the doors, including the back doors. Okay. So as you guys probably do, and as Marsh and I do, we end up at trailheads often that are remote for hiking and biking. Yeah. And so we lock the deadbolts and then nobody can get in unless they actually break a window. So that is an door. excellent, excellent security feature. I like that. And you do that on all the doors? All the doors. Okay. Yeah. And then there's the keypad too. That's part of the security as well, right? It is. Yeah. yeah. Well, I love how that's kind of convenient too, that if you separate from your partner, one of you gets back to the rig early and doesn't have the key, you just have the keypad to get in. It's so much more convenient. We found it to be so nice because you're not standing shivering the cold all sweaty or waiting. in the snow or rain waiting for the other person with the key. Yeah, you both can go to the shower house and you don't have to arrive back at the same time. Exactly. I love it. Yeah. All right, very cool. Thanks. So one of the things I noticed in your list is that you guys have moved away from a 12 volt battery. What, is that true? We have. We This is the first uh, van that we put a 48 volt system in. So the whole system is 48 volts. So what is that? Why would you do that? What does that get you? Well, it gets you uh, one quarter of the current. So uh, smaller wires, uh, smaller alternator that actually puts out almost twice the charging capability. Okay. And uh, the batteries themselves are automotive. It's a little different chemistry. They're encapsulated and the whole system is about 250. 50 pounds lighter wow. with more storage capacity than what we had in the past. How much capacity have you got? Well, in we've run the air conditioner for about seven hours at full 100% uh, duty cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, uh, we have about 94% uh, battery left on this one. Jeez. And if you want to see the details, you can see the temperature and current in each of the batteries. Down to each cell. Each cell. So, uh, and most people don't, don't care. They don't care. <laughs> I would. Yeah, so it's, it's fun to, to look at. Right on. Okay, so another thing that I saw on your list that I've never seen anywhere else before is an alarm for your shore power. So what is that? Explain that, and then can you show us how it works? You can edit this out, but I'll tell you the story. Uh, Marsh and I have plugged in maybe twice in the last three years. So I came in here on a Sunday to get the van to go and load it up. I looked around it, I put it in gear, opened the door, nobody was around, back up and I hear this snap. And so I think, what could that be? And I go out and I had backed out with the shore power connected. So especially with our motorhomes where most of our clients travel all over and never plug in because of our battery capacity, it's easy to forget that it's not plugged in. So we decided to create an alarm. So if you start the van, put the foot on the brake to take it out of gear, there's an alarm if the shore power is plugged in. So it's plugged in now. Shall, okay. we, shall we try it? All right, let's hear this alarm. All right, so we start the engine 
and go to read up. Oh, there's the alarm. So that's so it saying, tells hey. Us that, hey, don't do anything. Yes, you come unplug me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we need one of those for the hose nozzle when you're getting gas. That's true. Yeah. Now, now that should be next. All right. Okay, that's you next. can call it the step modification. We'll do it. Okay. Put your name on it. James and Stephanie, thanks for coming to visit Advanced RV. Thank you so much, and we appreciate you taking the time to show us everything new that you've got going on here. But that's not all that's new. That's no, right. You have some big changes coming all up. All these things going on, but we try not to talk about things until we actually have tested them and made them. No. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, little changes. <laughs> All right, that's all. Thanks for watching. Bye. See ya. Silence is your intro music play. Wait, I'm not ready. And we wait for Steph. Do the girl thing. Oh, yes. Is everybody pretty? <laughs> Get this in the video. <laughs> yeah. right. Hey, everyone. It's James and Steph from the Fit RV.